Hello and welcome on my screen. Um, in this video I would like to introduce you how you can place retentions for the lower jaw who look really similar like the retentions we have got in the classical way. Not everybody likes to have the retentions which are available in ExoCut um, and so also the way uh, is a little bit complicated. So, for that I first show you, okay, this was the E, I first show you the classic way, we make the whole size at round about 5 millimeters, mesh wax round about 1.25 and the relief wax 0.6. So now we place the retentions that they build a row so we can use this middle line for our retentions and then we have to delete all the other parts which are not looking like lower jaw retentions. So first I say apply. So and now we have to do a lot of rework to make them look like real lower jaw retentions. Um, on the other side, I would like to show you how Vincent Hammer had the idea to go over the expert mode. Over here we have got the clone tool and now for the thickness we also choose 065. Oh, 65. And then we mark the area we want to have the block out wax with the clone wax tool. Now we can make the tool a little bit bigger so we can work faster. And now we mark the area we want to have the retention. So first the block out wax. Then we switch to this tool which is called select wax. Here we can select the wax over here. We have marked with the clone wax tool. And now we have got this symbol, which is add selection to block out wax. And now you can see we have got the black block out wax and we didn't need a curve error or something like that. So now we switch again to the clone works tool for the thickness similar to the other side I would select 1.25 and the tool size round about 6.5 or I think 6.5 would be fine so now we make Holds. No, this is too too small. This is too small. We choose 6.7. Okay, this is much better. And now we place the 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 ball, the retention, as as we would place in the in the classical way. So you you can see this will be the rings. Then we switch again to the select wax tool and now we need a smaller tool around about 4, 4.5, something like that. And now we mark the areas where we want to have the holes. Okay. Like that. Now here there is another symbol which is called delete wax, delete the selected wax and I click on that. Now you see we have got very nice retentions like in the classic way, just rings and much less work than designing it in the, in the exocut way. So, Winston Temper is, is one of the founders of the uh, partial, ExoCut Partial 
and he showed this tool uh, to us. If I want to design bonnie heart clasps, I also need to uh, use the same tool. I switch the tool size to 0 0.25 roundabout. No, not tool size, tool thickness. Uh, 0 0.35. So, and now And now I mark the area where the arm from the bonny heart clamp clasp is going over the gingiva. Because I don't want to have the, the gingiva uh, disturbed or yeah, irritated, something like that. And now I switch again back to the select wax tool. I select this. Clone Wax Tool 2, and I also switch to Blog Out Wax. Now I go to this tool to smooth the transitions over here, and also there where this, the, the, the class pool will be, the active class pool will be. Okay. So now we go to the add wax tool again. And you see with the clone wax tool, you very easy can uh, fulfill the, the rest of the work. Um, I think the thickness will can be zero four. So also here the transition and the connecting for the sublingual area can be done with the, no, this was clone, yeah, of course. And now with the smoothing, smoothening tool, you can make this a little bit smoother. It's a very easy, very fast way to have these retentions. I hope you like that video and looking forward to see you again in another video. Bye bye.